Hello everybody, E here. Happy October. Uh, first off, today marks the first in a series of videos I'm going to be doing talking about my favorite horror content. Every single day I will talk about one thing, be it a book, a movie, whatever. Um, and today I want to talk about The Worm by Stephen Laws. Uh, this is not a book I hear a whole lot about. Um, most people, when I even bring up Stephen Laws, uh, they said, who? You don't know who, the, who I'm talking about. Um, he's a fantastic British author. Um, I think uh, he, is, he writes better novels, not better short stories, but better novels than Clive Barker. Um, his, I don't, there, there's something sparse um, and get to the pointy <laughs> about his writing that I really, really like. Uh, he has a very succinct prose, um, and his books are absolutely wild. Um, I think the craziest one is Spectre. But my personal favorite from his, and I'm not sure if I had it at my number one, because I do have a top five Stephen Laws books. Um, I'm not sure if this was number one on that list or not, but it needs to be. Um, I plan on rereading it here very shortly, but I want to tell you a little bit why I love it so much. Uh, there's, I, I love stories about evil in a small town, um, something that lives underneath uh, the town, something buried, a buried secret, that kind of thing. I really like that. That's what I liked about uh, Todd Keesling's um, Devil's Creek. That's what I like about Stephen King's It. Uh, and if you guys can hear that <laughs> airplane, I apologize. It's one of the problems with filming outside. But uh, with this one, I remember so much about the entity. Um, I don't really remember too much about the plot, um, other than a section of happenings that occur in a hospital that gave me a very, very cool uh, Silent Hill vibe. Um, this is one of those books, like I said, I don't hear too much about, but it really stuck with me and really need to be on more people's TBR, especially in the horror community. Um, now, don't limit yourself to just this one. Steve, all of Stephen Law's books that I have read so far, I haven't read Chasm and I haven't read Frighteners, but all of his books so far that I have tried have been absolutely amazing. The only one that was kind of eh for me was Fear Me, because it was like a vampire story, and I'm not too big on vampires. Other than that, he did a fine job with it. I don't remember a whole lot about it. But uh, this one uh, inspired me to write one of my first small town horror novels, <laughs> one that will no, absolutely nobody will ever read, ever, at least not in the state that I wrote it. Um, but it, it's called The Patch. It's about sentient pumpkins. Ooh, spooky door. I left my screen door open. I had to <laughs> close it because it was blowing in the wind. But yeah, so uh, today's video, I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, The Worm. It is about, it is about an entity that I think um, is brought forth because of an old hangman's gallows. I don't know, I have to reread it. Um, but I do remember the th some of the stuff that happens throughout the book. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but of course there is an entity in this town that is awakened. And on top of that, you have the town coming under control of this entity, which is another plus for me. You know, you got Salem's Lot, you got, well, not it, in that in that vein. Um, but uh, Todd Keesling's Devil, Devil's Creek, uh, that's like I said some of my some of my favorite stuff um, especially when it's done right and I think this is a perfect example it would easily be in my top five of small town horror so uh, if you want to tell me some of your favorite October fall or Halloween reads or content please do so down there in the doobly-doo again this will not be exclusive to books um, I will be talking about movies and just my, my favorite uh, horror content period so until next time I have been E you have been you this has been my favorite horror content <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later bye bye